Hi everyone, Mark here from Search Party Properties. So I wanted to talk about three things that I avoid when looking at properties. Now the first one is high voltage power lines. Now, whether you believe it will make your hair stand up on end, um, or it has some health problems there um, associated with living close to it, um, that's up to you, but it, it absolutely does have an effect on the valuation of your property. Now, values, valuers make a note of it, and sometimes the banks won't lend as much um, when, it, when it comes to, to lending, lending the money. Also, from the point of view of resale as well, um, not everybody wants to live next to higher voltage power lines, and so that has an effect on the demand on your property when it comes to time to sell. And if there's a property that's further away from the power lines and it's identical to yours, you're gonna expect to have more demand um, on that property and therefore possibly get a, a better sale price because there's more buyers looking at that property rather than yours. Number two is flood affection. It's actually one of the first things that we check is the flood maps to see if it is flood affected. And if it is, we just simply move on and start looking for the next property. It can potentially cost you time and money if your, if your property is flood affected. If the property does flood, it's gonna take you time to repair the property and get it back up to scratch. It's also gonna cost you the money to do those repairs. The property could potentially become vacant while you're doing those repairs as well, which is gonna cost you in terms of loss of rent. And it will also cost you potentially on insurance and insurance premiums as well. So if it's flooded, forget it. So number three on what I avoid when looking at property is main roads. Main roads and highways. Not everybody wants to live on a main road and it so drastically reduces the amount of people looking at your property when it comes time to rent that property or, it, or it's uh, time to sell that property as well. And therefore you're limiting your market and reducing the potential that that property might be able to achieve.